let's go to the auto show. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Tom Kuster, a local realtor in the greater Toronto area. And today we're at Media Day here at the Canadian International Auto Show. Let's explore and take a look at all the cool cars that are here. So at the Lego booth, Lego's got this cool Porsche. No depth to it, but it looks cool from the side. And they got this thing, pretty fun. 600 hours to, uh, to build. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat because it's built on a Got a race car here. Always love when they paint on the headlights. So silly looking, but it works. And we have a display of the little car company. Got this little Ferrari. Got this little Bugatti. What color is your Bugatti? The little car company's Bugatti is blue. And then they have this thing, which I don't even know what it is, but it looks cool. Oh, it's a Bentley, okay. Caitlin coming in for the win. Good job, Caitlin. And now we're going to my favorite part, the Porsche area. Got a bunch of cars under covers here at Grand Touring Automobiles. We'll see what's here after. But let's head on over to the Porsche area. Okay, so getting towards the Porsche area, and they got the Vision Gran Turismo out front. Turismo, Turismo, whatever. Gorgeous car though. Forget a 911 GT3 RS, this thing is probably my favorite car now from Porsche. It's gorgeous. I want to buy it, I don't have the money. <laughs> buy a house for me and I'll buy it. No, you can subscribe to my channel, I'll buy okay, it for you. Okay, what channel? Shut it up. BQA. There you go. Subscribe to this guy. <laughs> All right. Now let me ask you What's one that? quick question. Would you rather have a down payment on a house or have this Porsche right here? Diamond, diamond uh, down payment on a house. Okay. So he's financially responsible. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thanks brother. You have a nice day. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Porsche. All right. Let's see what's in. Oh, what's there? Oh yeah, it does have some nicks at the bottom, so they're actually driving this thing, which is cool. Awesome Porsche. Let's head on into the Porsche room. Oh, this is cool. This is all me. This is all me right here. They got a Lego Porsche. This is awesome. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Lego Porsche. Very nice. Very, very nice. We got what looks like a Cayenne. Yep, Cayenne Turbo GT. I believe these things are pushing like 600 horsepower. Crazy numbers out of an SUV. Gorgeous rims on it too. Love the spec. Thanks, bro. Gorgeous wheels, nice baby blue kind of color to the car, almost a gray with the blue wheels. Goes very hard, looks good. Love that exhaust too, look at that. It looks like the real deal, not no fake exhaust tips on this one. Gotta love that. What we got here, Titan, I believe. Nope, Panamera. Getting confusing between those four door Porsches, I think either Taycan or Panamera. Oh, yeah, it says right on the top, Panamera, Cayenne, beautiful. Now I, my idiot ass can kind of figure things out. Got the 911 Dakar here, gorgeous Rally 911. Love this thing, so cool, so clean. Love the white wheels. Rough roads, should be Rothmans, not rough roads, but that's okay. Oh, okay, here. Got a 911 GT3 RS, everybody's trying to get pictures of. Let's see this thing. Friendly reminder to buy or sell your Toronto real estate with me so that I can get a 911 GT3 RS one day. 
Look at that thing. Gorgeous. Love the two-tone. What a gorgeous car. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh yeah, GT3 RS. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the 911 GT3 RS they have here. Now let's take a little more of a walk through the um, Porsche booth. Got this cool rally car right here up on the rocks looking good, looking clean. Oh yeah, that's wide body too. Look at that. Gorgeous. Very good looking car. Look at that up on the hill. Looks very, very nice. Love me some rally cars too. Our Dumas is the driver of this one it seems. I don't know who that is, but our Dumas, shout out to you, that's a cool car and that must be a fun thing to drive, look at that, fun. Okay, and here we got the new Taycan Turbo S, gorgeous. And then you got the wagon version as well, I always love the wagon Taycans, they look so good. Love me a good German wagon. Best cars. Uh, here's the Taycan S rotating around. Taycan Turbo S rotating around. Got a cool little lighting change there. Fun. Alright guys, as you saw, we just came out of the Porsche area and now we're going to head downstairs in the south building and we're going to check out some of the new cars on display here. Okay, so as we head down the stairs, you got this cool old Volkswagen bus with Georgian College. Got some go-karts. Youth and Adult Drive League, Arrive and Drive League, fun. And here we got this clean BMW 2002. Gorgeous, wide body, very, very clean. Blue with the orange interior. Always a great color combo and gold wheels to top it off. Love that thing. Also, shout out to these guys, Bureaucracy. And there's some more vendors here. Now we're gonna keep going through and we're gonna see what else is here. See a Lambo. I think the license plate on this thing is awesome. So I'll show you guys in a second. Let's see. So, right here, license plate on it. Hurricane season. Yeah, gorgeous. Got buddy setting up for some shots here. Got the studio light looking cool. And we got a race car here. Ferrari. GTA exotics. These guys are always here. And now we're going to head into the halls where all the new cars are on display, starting with the Ford booth. So you got the mach -E's here as we walk in. Another mach -E, And then probably one of my favorite mach -E's here. This rally-inspired one here that they will be releasing to the public soon. So we're going to be quiet because it looks like they're recording something here. But hey, got the mach -E rally, white wheels. Yellow paint, looking good. Love the, the light bars surrounding the display. Looks great. And I'm not the biggest fan of the mach -E's, but I do think this Rally-inspired one is pretty cool. Got the spoiler on the back here. And some Mustangs, convertible. Broncos over here as well. Got the two-door Bronco. And you got the Ford Escape Bronco, another Ford Escape Bronco with the tent, and then the real Broncos. These are pretty gorgeous, I can't lie, I do like these cars, they're nice. 
Then we have this one, beautiful Big Ben package, green paint. The paint's very nice. And these things are meant to be driven off-road. You got all the plastic inside, you got the boat seats, like it's basically the same kind of material they use on boats, that marine grade uh, material. And now we're gonna head over and check out the other Ford Bronco Raptor. Oh, okay, so this is gonna be the fast one. $116,000. It's got a big boy engine in it. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, the hood even looks meaner on this one. Got the E-Transit, some Ford SUVs. And we're just gonna keep walking through, give you guys a bit of a preview. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to get to everything in this video, but we'll show you as much of the auto show as we can. So there you go again, got the five liter Mustangs. Classic car, do like the wheels on that yellow one, although I think the rims could be a little bigger. A little too much tire for my liking, but that's okay. And you got this tent on the back of the Maverick. Okay. Got some parts on display, which I like these kind of displays. They look cool. Kind of shows you what goes into the cars. And then, if your name's Kyle, you will love this section because it's all trucks. Yeah, Ford F-150, Ford F-150, Maverick, F-150, Lightning, all the trucks. This one does look good though. Oh, it's a Ranger, duh, it's not an F-150. I don't know, I'm not really a truck guy, so I'm not too sure. Here's the F-150 Tremor. I don't know what that trim is, but that's what it says. And then here we're gonna go into Volvo. All right, so continuing on, we got the Volvo section here. A couple of Volvo cars. I do quite like Volvos, they are pretty nice. Very basic display here though. But they're here and at least their presence is at the auto show. GM always, GM and Chevrolet always go hard at the auto show. You got the two Corvettes here. Very, very nice. These guys always put a lot of money into the auto show. You got Cadillac over there, which we'll get to when we wrap around. But let's just start with the Chevy section. So you got the new Equinox here. Not bad looking. These have definitely evolved a lot from the, the first versions of the Equinoxes. Got the Chevy Traverse. I do love the red paints on these uh, Chevy SUVs. They look good. Got another Equinox there. Traverse. And some more cars. Again, the red paint. I really like that. It looks good. It's shining. It's glistening in the light. Looks great. Got another Corvette over here. The spec on this is actually pretty nice. Got silver, the blue racing stripes, and what looks like a blue interior. Carbon fiber wheels, so I'm guessing this might be a Z06. Doors locked. Doors locked. Yeah, look at those carbon fiber wheels. Cool. And let's show you guys the inside, because it does have a nice spec on this one. Got the blue, the two-tone, kind of navy seats, baby blue trim, looking good. And again, some more Chevy stuff. Got the Silverado EV up there, blazer, another blazer. And again, the red just looks so good. Got a little game set up here. We try and get the hockey, the balls into the hockey uh, goal cup there very hard to do i've played this and i only got one in okay did you hear that is that a bird in here oh okay so they have nature sounds going on because this is obviously the nature section of chevy that's kind of interesting got the big old suburban here that's a big suv man it's so long got this thing camping setup colorado we got fake rain noise in here. We got a fake campfire. Oh yeah, it'd be fun Unless to go that's what it's camping. To be. Fake campfire noise. Yeah. Got the fake camp set up here. 
All right, so we're coming out of the camping section and gonna check out some more of the Chevy trucks. Lots of trucks here today at the auto show and for the next two weeks. Now we're gonna head over to the Buick section. Loving the paint color on this one right here. It's almost peachy, kind of brown. Very nice on the tiny little Buick SUV here. Oh yeah, look at that paint. Gorgeous, it really pops. The Encore GX, I'd say that's like brownish, peachy. Very, very nice paint. GM's coming with some good paint colors and it's nice to see cars that aren't all white and gray and black. Got another Buick here, got this one. Another nice red paint. Almost has a bit of a peachy vibe to it too. Not quite as deep of a red as the other Chevys we saw on the other side of the show. Gorgeous. Very gorgeous paint. And another Buick Encore here. And now GMC. So as you can see, GM goes very, very hard at the auto show. They always have big displays and invest a lot of money into it, which would make sense as they do have quite the presence here in Canada. Domestic market, so there you go. That's the GMC section. And here we got the Hummer EVs. Looking good. Very good looking car. Beautiful. And one thing I find funny here is that they tire shine the treads of the cars too to give it that extra sparkle. Very fun. And then we got another Hummer EV here. Another GMC truck. Lots of GMC trucks. Hummer EV. Let's pop this bad boy open and take a look at the inside. It's one of the few cars in here that make me actually want to go inside and look. Now you got the big screen. Seating's nice open roof almost like a convertible not quite but close oh yeah cool i think that gets the seal of approval good looking car and we got vinfast over here so let's take a quick look at vinfast and what's going on what they have going on you got the vf9 vf8 all the vinfast models are here i drove one of these at the x they're not bad, they're a fun car, but I'm not a big EV guy. Got the VF3. Look at this little guy, it's so cute. It's almost like a Suzuki Jimny, it's so tiny. It's actually quite nice looking. It's very quirky. Okay, so they got the VF3 here, this little guy again, almost like a Jimny. Got the VF6, VF7. I wonder if Vinfast is Vin Diesel's favorite car. Look at this thing though, it's gorgeous, this truck. Opens up. Very high quality looking interior on this car. All right, let's take a stroll through the Lexus area. Got this beautiful LC convertible here. Nice blue paint, white interior. The interior is crazy, I love this thing. I'm a big fan of convertibles, gorgeous absolutely no room in the back seat so good luck having back passengers if this is a car you're getting but look at that thing she's gorgeous the lc 500 very nice convertible got another lexus here the rc gorgeous yellow paint RCF, so it's the F1 as well, which I believe is Lexus's fast division, or I don't know what it stands for exactly, but they're the, like, think of like AMG or M, that's basically the F is Lexus's version of that. Got the nice Michelin Pilot Sports on it, good rims, solid paint job, and speaking of solid paint jobs, look at this, almost like a rose gold, pinky kind of look. Very beautiful LC500, the hardtop version. Very gorgeous car, and it's got the brown interior. I love this spec, actually. I'm not a big fan of brown interior cars, but this one looks good. Very, very gorgeous. Got an IS350, the red interior. Primer gray paint, but that's okay. But the interior, nice. Love me a good red interior. 
gorgeous car. Got this hot blue IS500 here as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cars. Not the biggest Lexus fan, but they do make a good car. Basically the high-end version of Toyota. Speaking of which, the Toyota booth is over there, so we're gonna head over there shortly. But quickly take a look at some more Lexuses. I feel like this section was all the best ones anyway. But, let's continue on. Another beautiful rose gold, pinky kind of color here. Very nice. I am a fan of this color. And then this blue actually also looks very good in my opinion. It's nice. I believe this is some of the EV stuff Lexus has coming out. So more Lexus. All the Lexuses are here. Some of the, uh, this one we wouldn't want to check out right here. The GX 550. All terrain performance. Kind of competing with like the Land Rover Defenders and all that. Gorgeous. That's a beauty. That is a very, very nice truck. And I think that gives us a good transition from Lexus to Toyota, where we have the all new Land Cruiser right here. Looking good. Let's do a spin around walk of this, because she is gorgeous. media day so got lots of people taking photos videos recording all sorts of stuff here yeah gorgeous gorgeous car so yep yeah, let's keep taking a look through toyota got all the suvs trd section over here got some tundras and some tacomas and all the suvs and trucks that looks good I like those gold rims Oh, the paint is kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see it on video, but it almost has like a two-tone kind of look to it. Very nice. I'm liking the paint colors at the auto show this year. Not as many basic gray, silver, and white type of cars. Gorgeous. Got my girlfriend, Caitlin, here checking out the Forerunner. The TRD version. Oh, this bike's even pretty cool. That's a nice looking bike. Twitter. It's a Twitter. Now known as X.com. Got the... Not the BRZ, but the GR86. Hot baby blue color. Nice and sporty. Not a bad looking car. These are fun. These are very moddable. I do like these. People make some cool builds out of these cars. Got the GR Corolla here. Three cylinder performance Corolla. Not bad. Not bad. Sometimes you wonder who hurt Toyota because they are coming pretty hard with some of these new cars nowadays. The new Camrys look good and there's the Supra, the GR Supra in a nice bright orange paint. Looks good, looks sparkly, looks shiny. More Toyota cars. All the Toyota cars. We're not gonna be able to get to every car in here in this video because there is way too much going on in here. But let's see what's happening here. We got the police car, flashing lights. Normally I'd be running away from this, but here I'm just gonna walk towards it because why not? So here we go, they got all the lights flashing away. We got the TikTok Toronto Cop, Sean Shapiro. Got the classic Toronto police car. Got the Charger, the Hemi engine. Cool. Let's see if we can talk to one of these guys. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, good. Sean, you want to come and tell people about the um, 
the yellow Metro police car and the story of why these were discontinued because the of the paint? The yellow police car. So all police cars were basically uh, uh, yellow, at least in the GTA, for the longest, longest time. And then uh, it came to uh, be that we, we, we understood things about health. That became a thing, right? We came in. Uh, the yellow paint contained high amounts of lead. And as a result, the people who were applying that paint were putting their lives at risk. They were at risk of cancer and, and other, I'm sure, negative stuff. So they switched to white cars. So the cars were repainted, new cars became all white, and then we've kept that on until we transitioned to the, the uh, like gray the cars. Like the stealth look, yeah. And these are actually, I think, stock paint. You know, we, stock. we, we okay. wrapped the doors to make them white, but otherwise it's, it's a lot less difficult to then sell these cars afterwards. Uh, right, and, and right. You have to repaint them. Yeah. Because nobody wanted a yellow car. But the funny thing about the yellow is I, all the coppers that I met that drove them as patrol cars would tell stories about how tourists would come up to the back of the car. You know, oh yeah, it looks like a taxi, in, right? Yeah. And say, yeah. take me to the Marriott. And, <laughs> and that was the thing, is, that, is it, especially those that were in the States, in New York, uh, that was a taxi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I could imagine this, like you, probably, you guys probably get flagged down like, hey, come pick me up, right? All the 100%. time, yeah, oh yeah, I could see that. Absolutely. Okay, so I always ask every police officer I meet this, do you have a very funny story, like the funniest story on patrol in your days of so being an officer? I, I, I gotta say that there, there's tons though. You know, it, of as course. much as there's horrific things that we see, there's a lot of funny that we see too. But my favorite story is the guy that uh, got pulled over for speeding on Lakeshore, who told me the reason he was speeding is because he had to poo. So, so I said, no problem. License, ownership, and insurance. I took his stuff. I said, there's a gas station right over there. I'll follow you over. So, so he went. He, well, we drove there. I followed him. And uh, when he came out of the, finishing his business, I gave him his tickets. Oh boy, that's pretty. He was funny. shocked. He did. He thought he was getting out. Now, whether he actually stood there and counted and made, you know, tried to figure out uh, Sudoku while he pretended yep. to go to the bathroom or actually went there, I'll never know. Well. We could know did the car stink when you <laughs> walked up to it. I no, he I, there was nothing that was uh, that made me suggest or believe that he was uh, fair. You know, sitting, uh, fair enough. That's a good story, Sean. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. Anyway, that's Sean Shapiro. He's the Toronto TikTok cop. You've probably seen him online. You got any last words for the people? If you want to know stuff before you do stuff so you can uh, avoid getting tickets for stuff, then uh, follow us. You can go to trafficcop.ca. It has links to all our social media. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. You have yourself a lovely day. Nice talking to you. Take See care. you. <laughs> That was a good story, eh, guys? And interesting about the lead paint. These cars were dangerous. See you, Nick. Have a nice okay, day. You as well. Thanks. Good meeting you. You as well. Take care. Got more cop cars here. Got the old classic Crown Vic. Very beautiful. And now we got some Pole Stars. These are very Volvo-ish. I believe Volvo makes these, right, Caitlin? Yeah. Is this Volvo's electric brand? I think so. I'm not 100% positive on that. So I'm sure somebody in the comments might fact check me on that, but that's okay. I am a realtor, not a car expert. I'm just here on media day having fun. So yeah, we got the Polestars. They are pretty good looking cars, I must say. I'm not a fan of EVs, but these are much better than Teslas in my opinion. Oh, thank you. Now let's head over again. There's Lexus, got the GX. And more police officers over here. Got OPP recruiting because apparently they need more cops. Got Kerry Schmidt over there. We'll see if we can chat with him in a second. Yeah. He is busy at the moment, so I'll let him be. Got the OPP truck. OPP Ford. The one cool one they have here this year is the OPP Hummer EV. Very interesting. Yep, Hummer EV. OPP version. It's probably pretty quick too. They had a Z06 here last year. Z06, I guess, since we're Canadian. But yeah, there you go. Bunch of OPP cars. They even got an OPP snowmobile here, which is interesting. Durango. And then over here, we got the EV test track. York Regional Police is also here. So this is like the police area. And I'm just gonna pause the video here for a second and see if I can talk to Carrie in a second with you guys. All right, so we got Carrie Schmidt from the OPP and he's gonna give us a quick tour of the OPP booth. They got some cool vehicles here. Now, Carrie, tell us what you got going on at the auto show this year. Man, we got all kinds of really cool things. Obviously, this centerpiece showpiece right here is this uh, brand new 2024 GMC Hummer EV, fully electric. Uh, beautiful car, uh, all wrapped up in OPP livery. It's fantastic, an amazing vehicle. Tons of horsepower. Yeah. Again, 
provided by GMC for promotional purposes. Uh, so you won't see these on the road. No, you're not going to see this one on the road. Uh, no, this is uh, this is just here for the show, just to have people come in and take a look awesome. and enjoy it. But everything else is frontline vehicles. So if you ever thought about a career in law enforcement, um, this could be your office. You could jump on jump on a Harley Davidson or whatever motorcycle we have, and, and use this for your patrols uh, again. And one thing you often don't think about is uh, our snowmobile uh, program. You know, up north we have. Uh, thousands of kilometers of trails that we use uh, snowmobiles for for doing our regular patrols and these are brand new machines going out across the province obviously we didn't have much of a winter this season but uh, they certainly get the, their fair share oh, of, of mileage you know, Dodge Durango Ford Explorer hybrids here as well uh, the uh, Ram power wagon as well big truck you know for, again frontline vehicles used by officers, you know, usually they're using them to tow their um, their ATVs or snowmobiles, their uh, boats and, and all sorts of equipment. So, you know, big, uh, big truck for off-roading, you know, up in no northern parts of the province or in rough terrain. Uh, but again, we're here at the auto show all week. Amazing. Come on down and visit us and we're always hiring. We've got a recruiting uh, crew over here as well. There we go. You know, giving you an idea about uh, career law enforcement. Okay, now Kerry, before I let you go, I know you're a busy man, you got lots to do, but one thing I always enjoy asking people in your field of work is do you have like a funny story like what's the funniest thing that happened while you were on patrol in your oh patrol man days? you're catching me on off uh, guard here i haven't had a chance to think about that my goodness uh, we got lots of lots of crazies out there right yeah, so fair there's enough. no no shortage of uh, of drivers and fair excuses enough, and all kinds of stuff but yeah you know uh, I, i'll have to write a book at some point there's uh, <laughs> lots of stuff going of on course, of course <laughs> and how do you find being like a media police officer now transitioning from being out in the field to like what you're doing nowadays well i'm still in the field i'm still out there stopping cars and, and going to crashes and doing calls uh you know again i'm not maybe doing the full uh background investigation but i'm there supporting everyone out there uh and i love doing the media part as well and just kind of letting people know what we're doing giving them awareness what roads to avoid when we have a shutdown and, and where where uh we're dealing what we're working, what we're finding out on the roads, and hopefully people take our advice and yeah, hopefully now, maybe try. What's the most dangerous road in Ontario, would you say? The the most dangerous road is the road with the driver who's driving dangerously. So it could be <laughs> any road in the province, uh, depending on who's who's operating it. Roads are safe. It's it's uh, you know it's That's a driver. It's the drivers that cause the problem. So awesome. don't be that driver. There you go, guys. You heard it. Thank you so much, Kerry. All Come right. visit him at the auto show. And if a career in law enforcement is something you want to do, Stop by the OPP booth here. Hey, Thank right you, Gary. Take care. Nice. Thanks. All right, guys, now continuing on our tour of the auto show. Just saw the OPP booth. Now we're going to head over into Cadillac. And growing up, I was a big Cadillac man. I had a SLS in 1994, then a 2001 STS. And I've always had a soft spot in my heart for Cadillac. Gorgeous cars and always ahead of the curve in terms of technology and all that. So I got these, beautiful inside on them, definitely looking nice and modern, gorgeous car, luxury, that's what Cadillac's all about. But here we got the V, I think it's the CT4V Blackwing, got a $98,000 car, love the yellow paint here, looking very, very hot, got the canards up front, carbon diffusers, side skirts, carbon or sorry, that wasn't the diffuser, that was the uh, splitter, front end. Yeah, what am I talking about? The inside's pretty gorgeous, all black. If this was in red, this would definitely be more my style, but I do like it. Got the nice diamond stitching as well. The classic shark fin for your radio antenna, looking good. And there we go. That's the CT4V Blackwing. Very gorgeous car and probably pretty quick. Let's take a look at the rear end of this thing. Got a nice big carbon um, carbon wing on it. Very nice, almost PSM style. Very gorgeous car. Let's take a look at the diffuser, also carbon. Very nice car. Now we got the Cadillac Lyric over here. Last year this thing was not on display out to the public. It was kind of behind the wall like this one. But these are pretty gorgeous. And again, not the biggest EV fan, but the Lyric Luxury, it's a pretty nice car. Got a cool front end on it. Lit up. Let's take a quick look at the interior of this thing, shall we? Oh yeah, nice big chrome rims on it. 
or polished. I don't know if that's necessarily chrome, but all luxury. Gorgeous car inside. I think this gets the seal of approval for an EV for me. And again, we're in the Cadillac booth, the all electric Escalade. So this is gonna be an adjustment, seeing electric Escalades on the road. I don't understand how Tesla and like specific EV models will compete when things with brand recognition like this will be hitting the road. It's pretty gorgeous and God, that's actually a nice looking truck. Not bad at all. Got a hundred, or sorry, a thousand pounds of torque. That's what I believe the number figure on the back is, that thousand E4. I think that's for the torque. So gorgeous car right here. Got another Blackwing. I believe this might be the CT5V Blackwing, baby blue. Gorgeous carbon fiber package on it as well. Looking good, looking good. And I believe much like AMG, the engines on these are hand built. I think in Kentucky, Bowling Green. Shout out to my friend Melissa in Bowling Green, my breeder of my dogs. She makes great Corsos, Cane Corsos. And yeah, I'm rambling off topic here, but anyway. That's the CTV, CTV5 Blackwing, or CT5V Blackwing, whatever. Fancy, nice, baby blue, paint looked good. And then you got a couple more Cadillacs over here. Just the regular traffic Cadillacs. Bike rack up there. And now in the south building, we're basically making our way around once more. So final stop, Lincoln booth. Okay, so a bunch of Lincolns here. I haven't really personally been a fan of Lincoln since the town car days, but they are decent automobiles. Nice. I like the headlights on this one and the grill. The grill's not bad. The 2025 Aviator. Nice grill. Gorgeous vehicle. Yeah, I think that's beautiful. And we got a couple more Lincolns here as well. And then now we've basically made our way back around to Volvo, Chevy, yeah, yeah. and Ford. So that is the South Building. All right, guys, so that's the South Building of the Toronto Auto Show. Now we're going to head upstairs, check out the Grand Touring Automobile section. They weren't open when we walked by there first. After that, we're going to head into the North Building and see what's going on over there. I believe we're going to have Auto Strata with some Hyper and Super cars, as well as the Tesla Cybertruck. That's one of the ones I came here to take a look at specifically. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, now we're in probably one of my favorite rooms at the auto show, the Grand Touring Display. Got lots of hyper cars on display here. Absolutely amazing cars. Let's take a look at some of them. Got the Countach here, the Volto. Oh, the Countach is so beautiful. Tom? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, tell us about Grand Touring Automobiles. I don't work with Grand Touring, oh, so don't give sorry. me. You, don't, you okay. want somebody else? Yeah, yeah no yeah. worries, no worries. Uh, okay, so this guy doesn't work with Grand Touring Automobiles, <laughs> but he's handing out the business cards. Gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Countach is gorgeous, eh? Isn't it spectacular? What do these go for? Like three, four million? Mm. Fucking crazy. God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got the Revolto, Countach looking good, Bugatti. What color is your Bugatti? Grand Touring Automobiles is black with bronze. Got the Rimac. Gorgeous car. Let's over this guy's head so we don't get in the shot. Alright, now we're going to head into this room behind me where there's some custom-built cars. Let's go take a look. 
Mazda Speed 3. Got the Lexus over there, stanced out. Not a big fan of the stance, but whatever. It looks nice, looks clean. This is probably my favorite in the room. The 95 RWB Porsche 993 C2. Gorgeous, nice red, wide body, beautiful rims on her. Got a Lancer Evo here, built up. Got a Civic that's crazy built up and probably put a laptop to this thing and you're pushing like a thousand horsepower or something nuts. And then this was really cool, 972 Celica Toyota. Don't really see a lot of classic JDM around, so very interesting. Wheel fitment, very beautiful on this thing. Got a motorcycle, race car over here. And we got the Silvia 99, a Skyline. Gorgeous rear end on this nice big wing. Another Porsche. God, I love Porsche. Porsche. I know, I say it both ways. Gorgeous though. Here's the Skyline 99 carbon fiber hood. Fully built up. Very gorgeous car. Uh, go kart looking thing here. And then we got the another Porsche. Rothmans. See, now that's better. It's not Rough Roads, it's Rothmans. Goddamn political correctness. Can't even put a cigarette brand on a car anymore. And another race car. And that's this room. So we're going to head over to the North Building. Alright guys, we've made it to the North Building. And we're going to take a stroll through here. Got some hyper cars behind me. Pagani's, some McLaren's, all sorts of stuff. But first, let's just go and take a tour. Because there's a big lineup of people over there. So I'm not going to get any good shots just yet. But let's take a tour of the North Building. Alright, so here's the Kia booth. Got a bunch of EVs on display. Got the underglow lighting, which isn't really underglow lighting. It's just tubes lying on the ground, kind of like cheating. Got these things showing you what cars are made of. So some of the Kias are made from water bottles. Interesting, interesting. Kia booth, got all the EVs. Recycled pet carpet from fishing nets. So these guys are definitely very green. Got the Kia EV6, it looks like. Not a bad looking EV, to be honest. Got the Nitro Fev. Oh yeah, they are doing the test track. There's Jeep doing test track. A little wheel spin going on. Got the EV9. Not a bad looking Kia. Okay. Pretty nice. Sorento. Oh, those wheels on the Sorento are actually cool. Interesting design, I kind of like. Sweet. That's cool. Shout out, shout out to the straight pipes, there they are right there. Fun. Got the EV9 again. Kia Soul. <laughs> nice. Sweet. Okay, so we got some more Kias. Taking a walk through, people eating lunch, so we're gonna skip by and not show you anything there. Got the Jeep on the test track, going over. People are having lots of fun over there. We got the Seltos, Sportage, Fev. What does Fev even stand for? Someone let me know in the comments, please. Okay, Hot Wheels is here. Not going quite as hard as they did last year, but still here. Hi Barbie, they got the Barbie car over here. Start of the line, I'm sure people are gonna be lining up to take pictures with the Barbie car next week and later this week when this thing opens up. Got the Subaru booth over here. Got some Prezas. Got the cross tracks, some of the outdoor lifestyle going on. Got the WRX over here. Nice wheels on it. Brembo brakes, red calipers. Actually, pretty good spec. I really do like this car. Looking good. Nice tail lights. I think this diffuser would be much more cool in carbon, but it looks nice. Red stitching on the interior. So, Caitlin, my girlfriend, just said there is red stitching on the interior, which looks pretty good. Oh, they got Recaro seats too. Awesome. Fancy. With the cross track. 
Forrester. Got people doing some media day stuff here. Cross track. Outback. Another WRX in white. I don't know, I think I like the blue one better. Blue is a very, blue is a very Subaru color. Not quite as nice here. Here we got the Toyota GR86. I mean, Subaru, what is it, BRZ? Yeah, it's the BRZ. At least got the Scion FRS GR86 and these confused. Basically the same car. They're nice, very tunable. Very good platform to build on if you're building a custom car. Got some Foresters over here and we're gonna head on out of the Kia section because, or sorry, the Subaru section. I'm looking at the Kia sign while I'm saying that. Let's take a look at what the Jeep's doing over here. Going down the set of stairs on the test track. But to go over these bumps, so if you want to test drive a Jeep, do some real off-roading inside, indoors, you can come and do that. This guy's not really staying on the track very well, but that's okay. Here we got the Wrangler coming down the stairs, handling it a lot better. Oh yeah. What Wranglers are for. Also missing some of the bumps. I don't know if you drive these or if the Jeep people drive these, but they do have this Jeep driving experience here. Maybe you do drive them. Oh yeah, there we go. Going around the ramp. Got the guy over there going up. And we'll kind of take a walk around here. Camp Jeep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I guess you do drive because there's a huge lineup for this. I'm not waiting in that. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to be here for only a couple more hours. So we got to make use of our time. There's another Jeep going down the stairs. He kind of lost confidence, slowed it down. Just bouncing. Just bouncing around. If I was doing this track, I would definitely want to be in the Wrangler, not the other Jeeps. So walking past the Kia stuff again. Got a Renegade there. Cool. Looks good. Nice yellow paint. More Kias. Yeah, but it's a... What did I say? Renegade? Yeah, it is a Renegade. Just the Rubicon's the trim. So we got some more Jeep stuff going on. I'm just gonna skip right past that though because can't see much now from this angle. Vinfast also has a booth in here, a smaller one than the other building. But Vinfast, if you've gone to the Toronto exhibition last year, you know that these guys are all over the place. Got McLaren and Pagani over there, big crowd of people around it, so we'll take a look at that later. You have a million dollars Let's go through the uh, Jeep section. See what's going on here with the Jeeps, Dodge, all the American stuff. So, a bunch of Jeeps, Fiat 500. Oh, yeah, you want to go take a look? Yeah. My girlfriend said that Richard Hammond's talking up here, and I feel like it might be him, so let's go see. Let's take a look if Richard's out here. Shout out to Top Gear, classic TV show. Won't be the same without him, Jeremy, and uh, the other group. The people that are here James to enjoy this conversation. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate your passion. What a great auto show this is already. Yeah, yeah, so Richard is there. I can't really see much. Oh yeah, there's Richard Hammond. Cool. That's why the crowd. Forget Richard Hammond though. Look at these Paganis. Look at the SLR McLaren. And then the other McLarens. Gorgeous. This SLR though. This is me. That's my style. So we'll just hang out here, see what the crowd's kind of watching. Great question. The question is, how important is it to have on-site, physical, in-person auto shows? And I'm glad you asked that because this show in particular, I think, is a shining example of... Alright guys, we'll take a little pause here and we'll get back to the video in a few seconds. Going through some more North American stuff. Got the Fiat 500 here. Jeep. Got a Ram, electric Ram, looking cool. The Charger, the Tona SRT Concept, 100% a lot. Trick muscle. Sorry guys, I'm drinking a Pepsi, so I'm burping a little bit here on the video. That's okay. 
Yeah, 100% electric muscle. Interesting. Got 100% electric Dodge Ram. Merca, yeah. Although it's gonna be hard to convince the real Merca FIA type people that these are a better alternative to gas cars. They're not, but that's okay. Oh yeah. You see that? Yep. Yeah, it's got a crazy roof. You guys probably can't see it on the video, but the roof's pretty cool. I like the light up Ram logo there. Oh, the doors open up suicide. That's awesome. Oh yeah, look at the inside of that. It's gorgeous. Again, not the biggest fan of EVs, but that's pretty cool. Speaking of which, there's a sneak peek of what we're going to see in a bit. Cyber trucks over there. Wait, what? It's a cooler and a heater in the doors. Oh, wow. That's, that's awesome. So cool. Wow. I think it's a little better than the Lightning, I'll say that much. All I said, the next thing is, they got to put a, a run where the drink comes in and ends up in your cup. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> if only. I'd give them a couple years. You know what? They could do it. With the front one, it could end up right there. Hmm. Yeah. Just make money. 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 <laughs> money. 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 High five. All right. Say hi to Grand YouTube. Idea. Hey. Money. Money. <laughs> Big money. There we go. Thanks, bud. What's your name? Vince. Vince. Thanks for being have, on the YouTube channel. Have Vince. a great day. You as well, Vince. Enjoy. Thank you for keeping all the cars clean for us. You're welcome. Greatly appreciate that. Here's your stuff, Caitlin. We got the Hyundai's. Oh, look at the hockey one. That's fun. Venue. Mm -hmm. Is it Venue Palisade? Palisade. I feel like they stole that name from Escalade, but that's okay. Oh, the Santa Fe looks cool, the oh, hybrid. Yeah, it does look neat. That's actually interesting. Cool. Very, very cool. Very boxy, very masculine. Doors are locked. This is a pre production model, so I'm guessing they're going to production soon. And we got this NHL wrap Tucson hybrid. We got Nissan over here as well, which we will check out shortly. Palisade. Some more Hyundai stuff. Oh, Caitlin, let's go check out what's over here. Okay, so we're going to see what. I messaged you on Instagram last night. Oh, nice. I'm one of your fans. Oh, appreciate it. Thank I'm you so much. I'm the national PR manager for Hyundai and Genesis. Oh, you're the best. That's but amazing. But I've also lived in Durham my whole life. Oh, okay. So when I saw it, and I like comedy, so your stuff came in my feed. Thank you so That's much. That's very hilarious. nice. I love it. Thank yeah. you. Thank uh, you. I'm Jen. Nice to meet you, Jen. Nice I'm Tom. Oh, I'm I sure know. you already know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Jen. Oh, that's my girlfriend, Caitlin. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. you. So we're filming right now. Tell people okay. what's exciting at Hyundai this year. The, you want to go to the Ionic 5N? The Ionic um, 5N, okay. okay. So the first performance, first high performance EV of its kind. So it simulates the sounds. Obviously, it's an EV, so it doesn't have manual transmission. Can't demonstrate it right now, but I mm -hmm. think that's a really badass one. And then we have oh, yeah. the NHL edition. You can't open it, but. Uh, this is the first NHL edition in Canada and you can accessorize it with your favorite team. So that's oh, cool. That's fun. Yeah, but I'd say that from for your perspective or social, I think the Ionic 5. The Ionic great. 5, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There was that uh, the DeLorean looking thing last year here, like the the silver one. Is that here? Is that the back? Vision 74. Yeah, exactly. No. Sorry, I don't know the name no, of it. I okay. apologize. That's but yeah, that good. thing was awesome. I know. That's I wish so it was cool. here again. That was a very cool car. Well, say it because the cool thing about Hyundai is when journalists and influencers say they like something, Hyundai will be like, okay, we'll build it. Yeah. Car. Yeah. They, <laughs> oh, you hear that, Hyundai? Build it. Build, build the Envision and 74. Oh, don't look at me. I'm the PR person. Okay, but build Hyundai, build it. Yeah. And they Envision 74 Envision was it called? 70. Yeah, so the Envision 74, build it. Made a friend there, one of my Instagram friends, Jen. Shout out to Jen at Hyundai. Got the Santa Fe XRT. We got some RE style stuff going on here. I'm not really sure what this is, if it's a Hyundai thing or <laughs> just a random thing, but it's kind of cool. Got the Ionic 6 here. The Ionic 5, all about the EVs. Oh, the Ionic 5 actually looks cool with the um, the roof racks and the snowboarding. Definitely kind of paints a lifestyle picture. I could see myself taking something like this out to the Blue Mountain area or St. Louis, whatever. Looks gorgeous. 
Oh, they have a Hyundai race car here. There's the Elantra, Ionic 6, Ionic 5, and line Sonata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got a race car Elantra here. It's very awesome. It's cool to see Hyundai getting into the um, the racing stuff. Very interesting. Got a Canadian driver here, C. Atrell. Shout out to C. Atrell. Got Hyundai car, race car. Got a bunch of on display stuff. Some, um, what do you call it? Vendors. Got EV charging solutions. Let's take a scroll through this back end. Oh, we got a nice Fisker Ocean here cool very cool we got some sort of other race car build here looks almost like a brz we got the toronto star here got another pole star they were in the other building as well and let's go find caitlin we got a cool Taycan here, very nice looking car. Dark, dark, dark. Got the Hyundai Ionic 5. And shortly we'll head over to Infinity. Where are we going? Infinity and Nissan. Infinity and Nissan. Infinity and Nissan. <laughs> there you go. Caitlin's not a big fan of doing social media stuff, so I put her on the spot there. Sorry, baby, don't hate me. Gotcha. Got the QX monograph. Cool looking truck. Got the Infinity Vision QE, actually really, really nice. Let's get a quick shot of the front end here. Very pointy, very sharp looking. Can't see inside, it's a concept car. All you can see inside is some red ambient lighting. Very cool, sorry again, I'm burping. That's um, embarrassing, but I did just drink a whole can of Pepsi, so that's kind of why. Got the Q50 here, beautiful bright red paint. Looking very, very good. Got the QX55 over here. QX50. Yep. The Concept Project Rugged Road. Rugged Road. Rogue. Struggling to talk here. You got the Nissan Frontier. Love the gold rims. Gold rims are awesome. Got some more Nissan trucks. Uh, Frontier here, it looks like. It says, I don't know Nissans too well. I know the Murano. Got some more Nissans. Pathfinder. This project, rugged, rogue. Looking really cool. Fancy car. Got the canoe up top, bike, and a very cool paint job or wrap not too sure which one it is sometimes it's hard to tell got the Nissan Z might be the Nismo I'm not too sure oh yeah definitely the Nismo gorgeous look at the back end on that thing nice pipes beautiful wheels got a Nissan Sentra Cup race car here just a normie Sentra and then more Nissans so now we'll head over to the Tesla booth and give you guys a look at the Cybertruck. Oh yeah, we got some Audis here as well. It's Faf. <laughs> Pafaf or Faf or however you pronounce it. Okay, we got Tesla. We really wanted to touch the Cybertruck and feel the panels because apparently they're sharp, but you can't do that. It's behind ropes. Or can you? Should I jump the rope, guys? No, I'm not going to do that. I do want to come back next year. So here we go. Cybertruck. Pretty cool looking truck. And we'll just end it off here. Got some Audis from Faf. Porsche at the back there. Or no, yeah, Porsche. A Porsche Tech Art, I think. So it's probably like a special build. Got the BMW M here. And then some McLarens. A lot of good looking cars out here. Got the Cybertruck. Says not for sale because can't buy it if you want it. You got a Turia. Got a McLaren race car, I believe it's a 750, I want to say 750 GT3R Evo, yep, that's the one. And another McLaren. Yeah. And then we'll end it off here. SLR McLaren, gorgeous car. Some Paganis as well.
even if I can help you. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Auto shows in town till the 25th or 26th of February. Be sure to check it out. A lot of cool cars. Fun time for you and the family. Take care. Have a nice day. And I'm Tom Cooster, your local GTA realtor. See ya. All right, guys. I think I misspoke. I found another couple rooms downstairs at the north building that we can go and look at. So let's check it out. This is where all the cool cars are. I saved the best for last accidentally. I figured this would be around here, but didn't find it and found it on the way out. So here we go. We're going to go into the Ferrari room now. All Ferraris in here. Very red room. This is the red room. Got a 1984 288 GTO. Very gorgeous. And over here, we got the 1991 F40. Beautiful, beautiful, very true to its time period. Love the wheels. Just a gorgeous car all around. Look at that, look at the rear end. Nice amber taillights. Got a half-built thing here going on. And then here we got the Enzo. It's aged miraculously for 20 years. What a gorgeous car. Just beautiful. 2003, 21-year-old car and still looking just as good as the day it came off the floor. We got a 71 GTB Daytona right here. Another gorgeous car. More Ferraris. Let's take a look. Got a couple more and then I'm going to take you guys into probably arguably the best room in this entire building. Got the 328 GTS from 1988 right here. Very gorgeous car. All the Ferraris are gorgeous, let's be real. We got the 2024 296 Challenge. It's a race car here. Very gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous car. Look at that. Look at the hood. Crazy. Anyway, guys. That's the Ferrari room, and now we're gonna head into arguably the best room in the entire auto show. There's some crazy stuff in here. There's a Porsche tractor, there's a Lamborghini tractor, and let's just turn the camera around now. Starting off hard with the 80 Countach. Gold wheels, black, white interior, and just absolutely clean. So gorgeous, so clean. Yeah, keep going. And a 1971 Pontiac. Another beautiful car. Got a 68 Shelby over here. It's a convertible too. Very beautiful. 66 Shelby. The Cobra 427 Roadster. Gorgeous. Looks great in red too. I only really see these in blue, but the red, very suiting for the car as well. And speaking of which, here's another Ferrari and a 1957. That's a classic right there. The LWB Tour de France. For its day, 256 horsepower. That's quite a lot. And this thing, crazy 1938 Peugeot. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful car. 70 horsepower, obviously 1938. Probably very good numbers for there. Got a 1932 Marmon. 156 horsepower we got a 1932 stutz with 156 horsepower gorgeous car these classics are just beautiful and we got this thing which doesn't have a sign looks like it's an alfa romeo by the badge but i don't know what model and we got a 1929 bentley absolute classic look at the size of the headlights they're huge it's 180 horsepower. Actually, really, really good for that day and age. And let's see. We got the old school Bentley. Just gorgeous. Got that British flag on the side. Spare wheel. Look at that thing. Gas tank at the back. Very gorgeous car. And let's just kind of get you some back shots of all these cars. And here we got the XM. Looks like an electric BMW here. Very menacing looking under the red lights. 
and continuing on in this room just give you a preview of what's to come the auto strata section at the auto show is always amazing we got the rivions here looking very shocked and surprised to see me we got the ultimate exotics driving experience here as well got a lambo and a ferrari which i believe you can drive so check these guys out if you want to go for a little exotic tour Got a couple more classics here from Barrett Jackson. Got a 56 Bel Air Resto Mod. We got a 1954 Porsche Speedster. And finally ending it off with the old school Corvette here. Very gorgeous, nice red interior. Let's hop around here and take a look at the interior. Very nice, very clean, very beautiful car. I feel like I have to talk like this when I'm in this room because it's very elegant in here. I'm just kidding, guys. This uh, this room is pretty awesome, though. Auto Strata, shout out to these guys. They always come in with the best cars at the auto show. So here we got the 2016 911 GTS. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. We got a 2007 wiseman mf4 not even really sure what that is but it's pretty beautiful and it looks a lot older than 2007 but very nice car and a 1999 shelby series one 518 horsepower supercharged four liter beautiful car got a 1998 viper gts eight liter v10 450 horse just a gorgeous death trap but beautiful car and I always see these in blue, but in red, they also look equally as sharp. Although blue is the classic Viper color. And then here we got probably one of my favorite things at the auto show, which is this Lamborghini tractor. Gorgeous, old school tractor right out of Italy. And it's funny, you know, everybody knows the story about how Lamborghini was created. Enzo Ferrari told him to stick to building tractors. And then he ended up building things like these to compete with Ferrari. That tractor's so damn cool though. I don't care what anybody says. That might be one of my favorite things at the auto show this year. And we got this 2007 Murcielago LP640 Versace edition. Very nice. Let's see if we can maybe see the interior and kind of get a feel for that Versace edition aspect of it. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can pick it up on cam, but it's got a fancy interior. Very nice car. Very cool here as well. We got the Batmobile. The Batmobile is awesome. And then here's some back angles of the lineup down here. Back angles of this lineup. And then let's continue walking through. Again, Batmobile. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The Lamborghini. The Batmobile tumbler. We got another tractor, 1958 Porsche Diesel 108K. Pretty beautiful. Got a 2006 Carrera GT in yellow. Very nice car. And then we also got the Spider, the 918, it's a 2015. Beautiful car. Got a McLaren P1 here. Looking very sharp in that yellow. Oh, yeah. I love me the P1s. Very gorgeous car. Fancy. Got a LaFerrari. I believe this was here last year as well. It's beautiful. Nice matte white. Okay, let's keep going. Keep walking. And we got a 2023 812 Competizione Ferrari. Beautiful. These cars in here are just gorgeous, man. Like, look at that lineup. There's a few million dollars all in a row there. Insane. Okay, now we'll just quickly check out the Lotus is on display. And Maserati and Alpha. I think this definitely kind of takes us back down from the peaks we reached in this room and brings us to a nice conclusion of the video. 
got the Maseratis here. They're all gorgeous, but like compared to what we just saw, how can you compete, man? Like, look at this. Mozzie, Mozzie, Alfies. Like the Alfies and the Mozzies are nice, but the rest of this room is crazy. Anyway, guys, Tom Kustra, your local GTA realtor, and got access to the media day. So we took a little tour and gave you a preview of it. It's on for the next two weeks. Be sure to come to the auto show and check it out. Let's go to the auto show. And again, Tom Kuster, your local GTA realtor. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.